Sasquatch Mike on here guys so today in my Poland versus America series I'm gonna be talking about the differences in Polish stereotypes versus American stereotypes and I'm gonna be going down the list to see which ones I believe are true which ones are false for each country so without further ado we are gonna start off with Poland let's go all right so we're gonna start off with the list that I believe to be true about Polish people so number one is hospitality this is this is huge in Poland like I've never experienced any type of hospitality like this before um, when I was in Ecuador and some South American countries I did experience a lot of hospitality but it was still it's still in incomparable to Poland and that is that whenever I went over and I was with my girlfriend and we were going over to a family members house like I mean they were treating me like royalty it was insane I've never experienced anything like that and it was very touching very moving very nice people when it comes down to hospitality it is it is amazing number two is family people Polish people seem to be very oriented around their family and their family bond is super strong and honestly this in America family bond seems to be pretty weak to be honest so so another one is money is not at the priority for most Polish people and that's kind of tying into they aren't as materialistic as Americans and that's it's definitely that is definitely true they are not um, money focused people it's really focused on family and well-being okay the other one is educated and hard-working people most Polish people seem to have at least a four-year degree, if not a master's for the most part. And um, with all the school and stuff like that, they seem to be very educated. And also, I th what is the exam called? I think it's the uh, Matura. Matura, is that right? I know that uh, for high school, Polish people have to take an exam. And in this examination, they're tested on a lot of different subjects for their school. I think they get to pick or it's like there's like five or four different subjects or something like that someone let me know in the comments I'm kinda of curious about how all that works but um, for the most part Polish people are very educated and along with that they're also very hard-working people that is totally true so another one is delicious food when you go over to Poland you're only gonna experience delicious food um, I would say this is this is about from me I, I think this is like 90% true because I'm not 100% fan of Bigos or I'm not 100% fan of um, that meat that's in like a gelatin for Christmas I'm not really a fan of that or cold fish for Christmas I, I, I like it though you know I'll still eat it another one is chivalrous and this also ties into traditional for the most part it seems like Polish people are very chivalrous and um, it's, it's hard to explain but Maybe it's tying into their um, night history and stuff like that. Maybe this one ties into their history, being that it's all medieval. Like, they have tons of medieval night history, right? And that's probably somewhat of a factor that relates down from generation to generation. But for the most part, it seems like they are very chivalrous and also traditional. And I say traditional because I was very... I was almost, like, weirded out when my girlfriend was... Um, when she liked the idea of cooking and stuff like that I was actually kind of weirded out about this because girls here if they were to say that or if a guy were to say that he liked a woman who cooked uh, for the most part that's probably viewed as sexist and you know feminazi all that stuff right but um, yes yeah, so that's something that my girlfriend likes to do is cook and clean and stuff like that which I thought was pretty traditional and stuff so I'm not really sure with all Polish people but okay so I may catch some slack for this one but for the most part Polish people seem to be complaining in the sense of like you know you ask someone how they're doing and they're always they always tend to seem to say like it could be better and it's you know it's not that good you know stuff like that you, you wouldn't hear that for Americans especially like even if you're just talking to a stranger in America, people are always saying, oh, you know, it's great, you know, at least I'm breathing. So, it's kind of a weird difference. Okay, so I'm going to go down the list of some of the false stereotypes of Polish people. Number one is that Polish people don't know any other foreign languages. I would say this is definitely false, considering that most of the older generations know German and Russian, and 
this generation, like my age, knows English. So that's it's definitely not true. And I'm not saying that all Polish people know foreign languages, but I would say most do, or at least know like a little bit of a language. I would say a stereotype that's not true about Polish people is that they don't like foreigners. I would say I never had an issue being a foreigner. I wouldn't know if you are another color though, but I, w I wouldn't even describe, I wouldn't say Polish people are racist at all. I just think like being a homogenous society, that's all you're used to. So I think that if you are another race or something like that, you probably will get stared at. But that's just because you're another race and they've never seen you before. <laughs> Which is weird to think, being like an American, I see every race and stuff. Um, but I mean, I just, I kind of go to the examples of like Japan and them seeing other races there and kind of their attitudes towards that. It's not like they don't like other races or anything like that. It's just they're not used to them. That's the biggest thing. Another one that I'm still confused about and maybe someone can educate me on this, but I've also heard that Polish people steal cars, which um, I, don't, I don't really know how that's true in any way. I've talked to a lot of Polish people and it's not like they told me they were stealing cars and I never heard anything on the news or knew anyone there that ever got their car stolen. So and I also heard stories of like how back in the day or something like that, Polish people would go to um, like Germany or something like that and steal cars, bring them back over. Like that's a stereotype or something, but um, definitely not true. Another one is Polish death camps, and I still don't get this one. This one makes no sense. This one's totally false because I guess people are implying that Polish people were running the death camps and they weren't Germans. And I, I think people are just confused on the topic. And maybe people are saying they're Polish death camps because they were in Poland. Maybe they're saying it like that because of the land instead of who's occupying it but you know it was 100 percent nazis controlling polish death camps it wasn't like polish people occupying these death camps it was totally german so so yeah definitely a false one and i don't understand that one completely as to why people say polish death camps okay so now we are going to go to my favorite which is american stereotypes so just going down the list here i'm just gonna go through the ones that I think are true and false and talk about my own experiences with each one. Okay, so starting off, we're just going to go in some different directions here. It's going to be some true, some false, um, etc, etc. So starting off with some false is number one, eating McDonald's every day. I don't like McDonald's and the only it's funny because the only McDonald's I actually truly ever liked was in Poland. So um, <sighs> Yeah, there's so many other options besides McDonald's, though, that are way better, and they're not even, you know, that much more expensive, so. But yeah, and a lot of Americans, you know, because of the obesity here, we're, we are, we're taught a lot about obesity, and because of that, there is a new wave of, like, healthy people. Um, another one that I would say is false, this is a weird one, but that every girl looks like Kim Kardashian, definitely, um, not true, um... I still don't understand them, like, I, I don't think most Americans even get that shit, like, ugh, it's, it, that, that whole thing is just so cringy, to be honest. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> um, another one is, every American is rich, this one is false, you know, because someone is making like 80s watt to an hour, doesn't make them rich in any way, or even middle class for that matter, because um, rent is so expensive. For example, my rent here is close to $900 a month. So yeah, at the end of the day, some Americans are rich, some are medium, some are poor, and that's how it is in most other countries. Now, in some other countries, it seems to be where there's like higher gaps of like, there's just rich, just poor, and stuff like that. In America, there seems to be a higher amount of middle class compared to the other two, so which is probably a good thing. Um, money is one of the highest values. I would say that's pretty much true. It seems to be promoted and just kind of built into us. These material wealth and stuff like that is so important. You know, we're shown this through movies, we're shown this through music videos, through music. You know, just people in life, they're, most people are promoting these material things. So yeah, that's kind of a sad one, but it's definitely true that we, um, 
we do look at money as one of the highest values of life. Ignorant of other countries. Yeah, I would say that's true. We're all kind of in our own America bubble here and we're not really, you know, besides, you know, besides like the main headlines of other countries in the news, we're not going to know anything about any other country. And in fact, you can see my other video that I made where I interviewed college students or university students, however you want to say it. I showed them the Polish flag and I asked them to guess the country and what they knew about it. So you can watch that video. It's pretty ironic, guys, because I haven't talked about it since. But so there's a chemistry professor in that video that sees the Polish flag and he says, oh, is that Mexico? I'm just like, oh, my God, how? How is he? How is he? How is he a professor? And he thinks that the polish flag is mexico one of our neighbors i mean come on you don't know mexico oh so cringy anyways uh watch that video friendly towards strangers that is definitely true i remember people just you know saying like hey how's it going in the street and like with my girlfriend from poland and we are we're just walking around and someone would come up to us and say hey how are you guys doing what's up and stuff like that and she was so weirded out and she thought they were talking she either thought they were a freak or <laughs> that they were talking to someone else it was either or um so kind of an interesting one right there um i didn't really notice that i'm just used to people you know talking to people and that's kind of how it is here so most americans are friendly and uh positive helpful smiling that's kind of that's kind of a thing like even at you know cashiers or waiters waitresses or waiters they're always pretty um you know optimistic and positive another one is patriotic and you know here in the u.s there seems to be tons of flags right like you're gonna see so many united states flags when you come to the u.s and versus in poland you're not really gonna see that many and as far as i know this is embedded in the history because I think in the like 80s and 90s, you weren't even allowed to have your flag out as far as I know. Correct me on this if I'm wrong. And it was kind of like a communist thing to do that. And so I think some of those values are probably still kind of on the generations now. And um, yeah, I didn't really see that many Polish flags. I was thinking like, oh my God, come on, guys, where's your flags? Like, let's let's raise them up. I mean, let's be proud, everyone. That's kind of my opinion. So yeah, a lot of Americans will have flags here. So um, a couple more stereotypes about the US. We're just gonna go down quickly. Generosity, I would say that's definitely one for Americans. Most Americans seem to be pretty generous. Um, optimist, hardworking, I would say those were all true. Um, negative stereotypes would be obesity. Um, materialism and overconsumption totally true go to any other country um you know fly overseas you're you're gonna see how like materialist americans really are um lack of intelligence and cultural awareness we kind of went over that racism i wouldn't really say that's true Environmental ignorance, I would say that's true compared to Europe. I would say that's true. Arrogance and nationalism, um, wouldn't say that's true. And what's wrong with nationalism? Who said anything's wrong with nationalism? I still don't understand that. People are like, oh, you're a fascist if you're a nationalist. <laughs> uh, workaholic culture, sadly, definitely say that's true. Um, and the final one is guns. Do a lot of Americans own guns? It depends on your state. To be honest, I wanted to have my own um, carry permit to have a pistol that I could carry around in public. Um, I think I think Europeans will really never understand this one. And I bet there's tons of um, stereotypes that I will never understand about Europeans and stuff like that. And it's kind of just embedded in us. And um, I'm all for guns. I like guns. Between my dad, my brother, and myself, we have like five or six guns. And it's just fun to go shooting So and hunting and stuff like that. But I don't really want to get too much into that because I know Europeans are like pretty anti-gun and they don't like guns. So... 
uh, yeah, we're just not going to, we're just not going to go there. So that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, check out my other two videos that I did for this series. All right, guys, so I have a lot of things planned for this series, and I want you guys to also comment down below what you would like to watch for a Polish versus American type of, you know, anything related series. I'm really curious about your guys' ideas for different things, and please just let me know. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching. Cinquia e Davidsenia.